And let's begin. This is Kyle Johnson Mic'd Up. You can find my work on Twitter at KJohnstonMic'd Up. You can find it on my website, KyleJohnsonMic'dUp.wordpress.com. Got to make this fast and furious. Maybe I'll get a role in the next Fast and Furious. You certainly know that shit's not fucking done with, man. This is what, the 11th fucking movie they've done? They're literally keeping people employed in Hollywood. When you look at the fucking cat, like, ludicrous for fuck six in the movie still. Thought they would have fucking... I was at him long ago. I haven't seen one of those since, like, I, I watched the second one, and then, like, I think Tokyo Drift or something came out, and then I was pretty much done with that. We gotta make this fast, gotta make this quick, I gotta run to work, I gotta get some food in my fucking belly, I gotta shove as much food as I can. We got the Premier League going on right now, we got a cracker of a fucking match going down in Chelsea, between uh, Chelsea and City. Two one Chelsea right now, fifty third minute. We've seen a little bit of everything in this match, including a penalty by Hazard that was stopped, and he put the rebound in, which put Chelsea into the lead. Arsenal's up one nil. I got Swansea and Tottenham right in front of me right now. Swansea's up one nil. This will be a big dent in Tottenham's fucking title hopes. Especially if Chelsea hold on to beat City. Like, we need City. Like, I can't believe this. But you need City to fucking win. But anyways, let's hop up and in. Let's jump up and in on my plays of the day. April 5th. Get off this in-play stuff and we'll hop on to the hard court. So it's a wacky time in the NBA right now. Same in the NHL as the uh, seasons wind down. We've seen a lot of dogs covering. See a lot of teams quitting. A lot of uh, overs that could cash aren't cashing because teams are just fucking quitting. Like, just fuck quitting worse than usual. But there's a few games here on the board in the NBA that I do like. Now, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they've been struggling. Struggling! But they'll find their game. They're too good not to find their game, especially with fucking... LeBron James and Kyrie Irving leading the way. Kevin Love kind of, you know, taking the, uh... Hey, Donnie. Kevin Love, you know, taking the, uh... You know, the, uh, the partner role. But he's damn fucking good partner, you know what I mean? Fuck good for double-double every night. Now, they're in Boston to take on the Celtics. Right now, the Celtics are four-point favorites. Totals 220. I like the Cavaliers to step the fuck up and beat the Celtics. They've seen the Celtics surpass them in the standings. They're going to have a little chip on their shoulder, I think, tonight. The Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron James. So I like the Cavaliers at plus four. I like the Cavaliers on the money line as well at plus 160. Now the Houston Rockets, they're hosting the Denver Nuggets. Houston's laying eight and a half points at home. Total's 240. It was 238 not too long ago. It's climbing, climbing. The Denver Nuggets are playing their second game of a back-to-back. It's a shitty situation for the Nuggets. They had a big win against New Orleans. What, 133, 131, you know, took basically everything they had in their gas tank to do it. I like the Houston Rockets tonight at minus 8.5 to cover the 8.5 points, to lay a little bit of a beat down on the Denver Nuggets. And I don't like the over 240. I think it's just getting a little too high, folks. But speaking of overs. The Golden State Warriors, they are on a second game of back-to-back, -back, but they're in Phoenix to take on the fucking god-awful Suns. Suns are awful right now. Just awful. 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 Then, you know, we were sneaking some covers in with the Suns about, you know, mid-season there, but they've just gone to shit. If you're not watching Devin, Bo uh, uh, yeah, Devin Booker, then there's no fucking reason to watch a Suns game right now. But Golden State, they're laying nine and a half points. Totals 223 and a half. I wouldn't be shocked if the Golden State Warriors cover the 9.5, but I like the over the total. I like over 223 and the Golden State Warriors Phoenix Suns game. Phoenix Suns, they suck, but they can't play defense. They do put up some points. Now, over on the Frozen Pond, 
Didn't have a very good night last night. Didn't have a good night last night overall. Not overall, especially on the Diamond, too. The Diamond, we were awful on our play. You know, Tampa Bay Rays, thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up, Rays. You let CeCe Sabathia look like CeCe Sabathia fucking 12 years ago. But anyways, the New York Rangers, they're in Washington to take on the Capitals. The Capitals, second game of a back-to-back. -back. You're seeing a back-to-back -back theme here. They beat the Toronto Maple Leafs last night. Didn't help. Couldn't catch the over in that fucking game. But it really wasn't the Capitals. They dominated the game. The Leafs didn't show the fuck up. But I like the Rangers. Capitals are minus 200 on the second game of back-to-back. -back. First game home after a long-ass fucking road trip. The Rangers seem to have the Capitals number a little bit. I like the New York Rangers tonight at plus 170. Now over on the ball diamond in the major leagues... Few games kind of catch my attention. We have a full slate of games today. A couple games are postponed. A couple of the earlier games. But the Boston Red Sox, they host the Pittsburgh Pirates. Chris Sales on the mound to make his Boston Red Sox season debut. Italians on the mound for the Pirates. Red Sox are minus 165 on the money line. Total in this game is 8 runs. I like the Red Sox. You gotta take the juice and lay it with the Red Sox tonight. Not only is their offense fucking kick ass, but it's Chris Sale on the fucking mound. Enough said. Now the Seattle Mariners, they continue their series against the Houston Astros in Houston. Now we've been betting the over in this series, betting the over. And I uh, worked down earlier on, not so much last game. But Charlie Morton's on the mound for the Astros. Paxton's on the mound for the Mariners. A couple gas cans are on the mound. Astros are minus 120. Home favorites on the money line. Seven and a half runs is the total. I like the over seven and a half runs tonight in Seattle, Houston. We cashed that ticket tonight. Now I gotta get the hell out of here. So remember, you can find my work on Twitter at kjohnstonmiked.up. Find my work. On my website, kylejohnsonmiked.wordpress.com. Keep an eye out for my podcast. Type my name into YouTube. And remember, if you're not laying money down the table, you're not winning. <laughs>